after that. David Umbarger has lived at the corner of Northwest Garibaldi and Dennis in Hillsboro for five years. He's been in the neighborhood for even longer. He describes it as peaceful, but the pieces of a broken car window in his front garden bed are now giving him pause. My wife wanted me to clean the garage out so we could get the car in. Umbarger says late last week he walked out of his house and jumped in his SUV and noticed a hole in the back window. At first I thought it was shot out, maybe by a gun or something, but I possibly would have heard that. And uh, he seemed to think that it was a slingshot that was doing it with blue marbles. That's what the responding police officer told Umbarger, um, who ultimately paid hundreds of dollars out of pocket right. to replace the damaged window. I'm on a fixed income, I'm retired, so it, it doesn't help to have to throw that kind of money out for some kind of prank or whatever's going on. This is the new window. I had this put in by uh, Dr. Glass in Portland. They did an incredible job. Daniel uh, Atkins can empathize with Umbarger. Atkins also lives in Hillsboro and also had his car window shot out. It happened earlier this week. Honestly, I don't know who these people are. I don't know why they would do this. I don't know who drives around town vandalizing, shooting people's windows out, shooting their homes, shooting their cars. It's insane to me. Car windows and home windows, police say the targets of a vandal or vandals, armed with marbles in all likelihood. While the total number of victims is unclear, investigators say a 2004 Acura TL and a 2004 Subaru Forester are possible vehicles of interest. However, a neighbor who gave us this surveillance video thinks a Ford Escape may be involved. Regardless, I want them caught. They need to be caught. These random acts of violence cannot happen. It's just senseless. It's a sentiment echoed by David Umbarger, who's calling the whole thing childish. Hope these guys are caught. I sure do, and if they do, I'll be the first one to prosecute.